people are really excited about Jordan Walker. And I know you said um, you've been writing about him like all week. So, um, <laughs> but we, I think we have to talk about him at least a little bit. So yeah, we do. <laughs> we have a question from uh, Nick on Instagram and he's asking if it is more likely that Burleson or Walker will make the opening day roster. Oh, good question. I think that's, it's a little hard to lump those two together because their roles will be different, right? If Jordan Walker makes yeah. the opening day roster, he's making it as your starting everyday left fielder. If Alec Burleson makes the roster, he's making it as the bench bat. Uh, he's not going to be a necessarily late any defensive replacement. He can play there if necessary, but he's going to be that power lefty off the bench, um, assuming Nolan Gorman plays every day. So it's, that's a little hard for me to say because they might not need that depending on how Nolan Gorman sees the spring goes. I think the it's the way that we would see Jordan Walker on the opening day roster is if he just simply outplays any of the three projected starting outfielders and Tyler O'Neill, a Dylan Carlson and Lars Newbar. And then the Cardinals, I, I guess, have a, an ideal problem on their hands because they're, they're choosing from four very talented, capable ball players. So I don't see Jordan Walker making this team just to sit on the bench and be used, you know, in late innings, they want him to play every day. The Cardinals have been very consistent with that, with their top prospects. We, I'm sure you guys remember last year when Nolan Gorman was just unbeatable in triple a, but there was no room for him in the middle infield. And then he forced his way up and that spot opened up because of a demotion. And that's kind of how they work. They were only going to promote Gorman if he could play every day. I think that's what they're going to have yeah. a conversation about with Walker. So we'll see. I don't know, though. I will say I don't think one makes it. I don't think they both make it, right? I think it's either one or the other. And a follow-up to that um, from Brent on YouTube. Um, he's asking who the odd man out in the outfield would be when Jordan Walker's called up. Would it be O'Neill, Newt Barr, or Carlson? In terms of starting? Uh, I think yeah. that's up to them, right? So there's a reason Tyler. they're trying Tyler O'Neill in center field. There could be. Dylan Carlson being the odd one out and they need to know that they have an everyday center fielder in Tyler O'Neill. It could be that, you know, Lars Newbar does not have the spring or um, the consistency that they expect from him. And Jordan Walker eventually wins him out and beats him out. Same with Tyler O'Neill. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it, again, it'll be up to them in performance. One thing that I we've learned about Ollie over the last year or so is that Performance really matters. I mean, did any of us have Andre Pallante on our radar last spring? No, absolutely not. And he was amazing in the backfields. He really impressed to the point where they knew before they were breaking camp that Pallante was going to be on the roster, and they didn't even know who their fifth starter was going to be yet. So that's what makes Dylan Carlson's spring to me so important. Tyler O'Neill and Lars Newbar. I mean, they, Lars Newbar was the first guy that Mo and Ollie talked about the winter meetings as being an everyday player. Seems like they're pretty high on him. Tyler O'Neill is a lineup altering player if he can stay healthy. I mean, that power and that speed, the Cardinals have a chance to have a, an absolutely lethal lineup offensively if Tyler O'Neill walks in the way that he does. They need to see consistency from Dylan, especially against uh, from the left side. That's on him. That's why his spring will be so important. That's why you're going to see him in center so many times. I mean, we haven't seen him a lot because Tyler's leaving. Uh, but I think it's Dylan Carlson's job to lose. Speaking of Walker real quick, what do you think is the most impressive thing about him? He's got eye popping power. He can hit to all fields. He's really fast for someone his size, but to me, it seems like his makeup as a person is just unbelievable. I love watching. Players. So what do you think is the most impressive quality about him? Jordan Walker remembers everyone's name and that natural charisma that you see, that is not an act. He just knows yeah. how to treat people. Uh, and that is something that kind of poise and maturity is really uncommon in people in general for a 20 year old star prospect. The fact that he remains so well-spoken and so grounded has really impressed me. It's, it's weird, right? Because he's 20 years old and yeah. I feel like I'm talking to someone who is 20 years older than me when I talk to Jordan Walker. So the power the bat speed, the exit velocity, the actual speed. I know he's like 6'5", 220. He says he's more than that. Um, but he's so <laughs> fast. It's the athleticism, but really it's the way that his his makeup and how well-rounded he is, that has really stood out to me. Now, I know that's not the answer that people are going to be like, oh, cool. Like that's, is he going to win games? 
I understand like why he's so hyped as a person or as a player, but I think it's equally as important to know that when players are special, who they are, like their personality and how they treat people is also special. And he checks both boxes there. I think that's really important for the Cardinals. I mean, I think there is some correlation between, you know, how you are as a person and how you can perform. Obviously they're, they're not always together. Um, but I think that does go hand in hand, at least to some extent. And with Walker, his humility just shines through in his interviews. It's unbelievable. He, he mm-hmm. doesn't really want to talk about himself. You can tell he it definitely not. seems he addresses the press the way, you know, a 35 year old 15 season vet. Would. Yep, absolutely. I would agree.